Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for today's session is arranging the objects and we'll discuss about ordering and rotating the objects. In the earlier session we have already discussed about arranging the objects. In this session, we'll discuss about ordering and rotating the objects. The first thing we are going to discuss is change the ordering by one level. In addition to aligning and grouping the objects, PowerPoint gives you the ability to arrange the object in a specific order. Ordering is important when two or more object overlaps because it will determine which object are in the front or which one is in the back. So if we want to change the order by one level, we need to apply certain commands. I'll show you how do we do it. Now for example, suppose we have certain objects here. We have the object with the small size and with the bigger size. When we want to arrange them, when we want to align them, or you can say when these are getting overlapped so we want them to come in a particular order for doing it first of all click on the object by selecting it you will get the format tab click on the format tab you have certain options available here bring it forward and send backward this is the arrange in the arrange group you will get these command bring forward and set backward this is the smallest object that we have selected right now so I want to put this particular object in the front so select bring forward now suppose if you are grouping it let me select two objects now we have got these two objects now I want to align them click on align and select align left now you can see that this object is in the front the smaller object mouse and the bigger object is in the back side now suppose if you have multiple objects and you want to order them in a particular way in a particular series then you need to use the commands the bring forward or set backward in a multiple times now suppose if you have multiple objects and you want to arrange them in a particular order so you need to use the command bring forward and send backward multiple times now I'll show you how do we do it select this object first click on the format tab click on the option bring forward now select this object and select send backward now let's say we have selected these three objects and we want to align them now click on the format tab click on align and select left align the order would be the same that we wanted the smallest object is on the top then this is the object that we want on the back side the keyboard this object we have selected to send backward so that the order would be the smaller object would be there on the top then the middle size object and then the bigger object so in this way you can arrange or you can reorder the objects now in this arrangement suppose if we want to bring this this particular object in the front so click on the object select bring forward and you will have an option bring forward now this object is on the second position like top one is the mouse then we have the keyboard and then we have the pen drive this is the order now now select this once again and click on send backward now again the arrangement is the same that the keyboard is on the last so in this way you can move them one by one like one option is bring to the front I'll click on this and that would be the first object in my arrangement and other option is the bring forward it means that it's going to move the object one step ahead in the similar way send backward and 
send to the back send backward means is going to move the object one step back and send it to the back means on the last place it's going to arrange the object so in this way you can change the ordering level by one Now let's see what is the action now. Uh, change the ordering by one level we have discussed and to bring the object in the front or in the back that also we have discussed. Then how we can put the, the object in the front or in the back. You can select that, click on format, then bring forward, bring to the front. This is the one it has on the front side then send to back the last object it has become okay the next we'll discuss about to rotate an object you need to select the object first of all click on the format tab you have an option available here rotate click on this and you have the multiple options available rotate right 90 degrees rotate left 90 degrees flip vertical flip horizontal and you have more options available hide the rotation then how many degrees you want to give it to how do you want to rotate the object you can provide the values here you can do it manually you can select the desired rotation option and the object in the slide will rotate So that was it about rotating the objects. Now next we'll discuss about grouping the objects. Now we'll discuss about group and ungroup the objects. Now we have few objects here. Now suppose you want to group some objects, for example this and these two objects are there and what we want is we'll group these two objects together so that whenever we are going to move one object the second will automatically move with this object we want them to move together we want to resize them together like we are making a single group of these two objects now you have selected these two objects now click on the format tab and you will get the option group click on the group now one group is created for these two objects with the help of the arrow keys if we try to move the object these two are moving together if we want to resize them both of them are getting resized together you can see here that has formed a group these grouping option is useful you can say that is most used when you are creating the kind of diagrams like the intersection diagrams you have two groups available we have some intersection available for both of them we want them to be grouped so that whenever we are moving them or whenever we are changing the size we try to shrink it the group itself will try to shrink and that would be modified okay now there is one important note here that pictures shapes clip art and text boxes can all be grouped together but placeholders cannot be grouped together therefore you need to make sure not to insert your pictures into placeholders if you want to group the objects now if you have remembered we have inserted all these images with the help of the placeholders so let's try to group them and let's see whether these images are getting uh, grouped or not we have selected this images one two and three now click on the format tab you can see that the group option is grayed out you cannot select that however if you select the different images for example these two squares we have selected click on the format tab and now you can see that the group option is highlighted you can click here and you have clicked on the group now these two things are grouped together and we can move them anywhere we can resize them
these are grouped but the images that we have grouped with the help of the placeholders they cannot be grouped group option is grayed out it's not allowing you to group these objects so whenever you want to apply the grouping option you need to insert the images not with the help of the placeholder but by the different means other than the placeholders placeholders cannot be grouped together in the similar way we have discussed about grouping the objects in the similar way the question comes how do we ungroup the objects again you have to click on the format tab click on the group command and you will get the option ungroup you can click on on that now we have ungroup both of them these would be moved independent of the other object now this is how we can ungroup the object all right so we have discussed about the grouping the objects as well in this session we have learned how to arrange the objects how we can align multiple objects we can distribute them evenly then we have discussed about ordering and rotating the objects how to order them how to incre increase their level up and how to bring the object in front and in the back then we have discussed about the grouping and ungrouping the objects so that was it about arranging the objects thanks everyone thank you for watching edupedia world videos